National insurance can be a confusing aspect of UK taxation. If you're intending to be self-employed, it's something that you definitely need to understand. But even if you are an employee, it's good to have some awareness. I'm Rich Smith and Thrism is my business, created to help your business. National insurance contributions are payable by people over the age of 16 all the way up to state pension age. There are certain benefits payable to people in the UK that rely on the payment of national insurance contributions. Most commonly, it's from this tax revenue that the state pension itself is paid, but there are some others such as maternity allowance. To qualify for these benefits, you need to pay national insurance. If you're an employee, it's likely that you pay your national insurance contribution at source along with your income tax payments. National insurance is made slightly complicated by the existence of different classes and it can be a daunting subject. In all, there are four classes. They're called class one, class two, class three, and class four. So fairly straightforward so far. The class you pay depends on your circumstances and the class of national insurance dictates how much you pay. You might need to pay more than one class, particularly if you're self-employed. If you're an employee, then you will pay class one contributions. Class one then has further lettered categories within it. The letter applicable to you depends on your age and circumstance. But for simplicity here, most people pay class one A contributions. Your employer sorts all this out for you through the PAYE system and it's deducted at source, so by the time you get paid, you don't need to worry about it. In addition, your employer will make a Class 1 employer national insurance contribution for you out of their pocket on top of your wage. So this is where I'm going to start introducing some numbers. From time to time, the government will change percentage rates for national insurance, but more commonly, from year to year, it's the thresholds as to when you start or stop paying that changes. Keep an eye out for these changes in the budget, but as of the 2019-20 tax year, as a Class 1 contributor, you are deemed to be paying national insurance contributions and therefore qualifying for the benefits once your earnings reach £116 per week, which is just over £6,000 per year. The rate you pay depends on how much money you earn, but everybody progresses through the same rate structure. Now, when you start your national insurance journey, when your earnings reach £116 per week, your contributions begin at 0%. So you don't actually pay anything until your earnings reach £166 per week, £8,632 a year. At this point, you'll pay 12% of anything you earn over that amount. They aren't the only thresholds involved. There is one more that you should be aware of and that kicks in when your earnings reach £962 per week, just over £50,000 per year. You'll pay 12% on everything between £166 and £962 per week. Then your contributions on earnings above £962 per week are reduced to 2%. Whilst all of this is going on, in the majority of cases, your employer will pay a further 13.8% on anything you earn in their employment over the £166 per week threshold. There is no reduced rate for them at the £962 level. It's something that's worth bearing in mind if you're planning on employing someone, as this can be an easily overlooked additional cost when planning to venture into the world of becoming an employer. If you have gaps in your national insurance payment records, then you might not qualify for certain benefits, particularly the state pension. You'll need 10 years of national insurance contributions to qualify for a reduced state pension, but you will only get the full state pension if you have 35 years of qualifying payments. This is where class three voluntary contributions come into play. These allow you to bridge gaps in your payment history. Now this video isn't really about that, but suffice to say, if you are eligible to make those voluntary payments, they cost around £15 per week. You'll need to get in touch with HMRC to figure out how many payments you'll need to make and how you'll go about making them. If you're self-employed, then you'll need to pay attention to Class 2 and Class 4 contributions. 
There was some talk around 2015 that the government were going to abolish Class 2 contributions by 2019, but they changed their minds and for the time being at least, Class 2 remains. So what's the difference, which one do you pay and how much will you contribute? Well, they are very different and you may well have to pay both. Class 2 contributions count towards your eligibility for state benefits. Payment is compulsory if your profits are over £6,365 per year and optional if they're below that threshold. If you don't pay though, you may create gaps in your payment history which could have an adverse effect on the, your state pension in the future. Currently, Class 2 contributions are a flat rate of £3 per week, so £156 per year. Class 4 contributions don't actually count towards your eligibility for state benefits, but payment is compulsory if your profits are over £8,632 per year. Once you reach this threshold, the national insurance contribution rate is 9% of any profit over and above this number. When your profits reach £50,000, like we see with Class 1, contributions reduce to 2%. Here at Thrism, we love a side hustler, and if you're both employed and self-employed, you could well end up at paying class one, two, and four contributions. It will all be calculated through your self-assessment at the end of the tax year, when HMRC take into account all of your income. Your final national insurance bill could be less than you think by the time everything has been added up, but you should make provision for paying all of the potential national insurance contributions that could be due, just in case. I hope this clarifies and demystifies national insurance for you. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to comment below and reach out and say hello in an email via hello at thrism.com. That's it for now. See you again soon.